Well, I am going to uh, speak about the possibility of having glaucoma as a subspecialty in your career. Now, whenever you want to go in for a particular subspecialty, there are certain things that one you should look for and analyze. The need for that subspecialty in your country or in the state or the province that you are living, the supply and demand position of that particular specialty, the monetary aspects, the gratification that it gives you by practicing that and the benefit to the society. Now, let us look at these one by one. We all know that the prevalence of glaucoma in India is about 11.9 million and this very interesting statistics from all these large population studies in India show that the proportion of open angle glaucoma patients with normal intraocular pressure is pretty high, as high as nearly 60 percent, which means that uh, just a uh, screening with intraocular pressure is definitely not enough to diagnose glaucoma. There is more to glaucoma than intraocular pressure. And you also know that there is a large number of angle closure glaucomas in, in the Asian region which includes our country and many cases which can be diagnosed early and treated with a simple peripheral iridectomy if not treated in time can go on to a chronic angle closure and ultimately lead you to blindness. Glaucoma, as you all know, has been declared as the second common cause of blindness in the country in the adult population. And the proportion of bilaterally blind patients uh, due to open angle glaucoma is as varied from 11 to 1.6, probably because the criteria used in these studies were slightly different. But there is a significant proportion of bilaterally blind patients with glaucoma, and this is what we have to try and prevent. There is also a high proportion of undiagnosed glaucoma in the community. 90% of the patients found to have glaucoma in population studies were previously undetected glaucomas and 50% of those detected to have glaucoma had an ophthalmic evaluation within a year of their diagnosis which means that they went undiagnosed, 80% of them went undiagnosed even with a recent ophthalmic evaluation which all points to the fact that there is a definite need for more and more glaucoma specialists to diagnose and treat these cases early. I spoke to the secretary of the Glaucoma Society of India but we are not exactly sure how many uh, trained uh, long-term fellowship glaucoma specialists are there in the country. My rough guess would be about 200 to 300. Approximately there are about 70 fellowship positions available in the country, both long-term and short-term. And probably you should think of or look at your area, whether you know there, there are really trained glaucoma specialists in your area. If there aren't too many, then definitely this is a subspecialty of choice. Basic equipments for a glaucoma practice other than your slit lamp and your stereoscopic lenses, uh, definitely you should need a perimeter and a pachymeter. If you can afford it, probably one, you can go for one of the pre-perimetric tools also. But don't expect instant returns in glaucoma. It's not like cataract and refractive surgery. There are no instant returns in glaucoma monetary wise. You have to build up a referral base so that the, you know, you start getting referrals from your colleagues, general ophthalmologists in the periphery so that they can send you more patients and gradually you can build up your referral base. Again, coming to gratification, unlike cataract and uh, uh, glaucoma and to an extent maybe even uh, cosmetic uh, uh, oculoplastic surgery, there is no instant gratification. Unless you want to combine uh, a cataract surgery with a glaucoma surgery, there is no instant uh, gratification. But if you look at the, the, the vast majority of glaucoma especially, there are very few people who practice just glaucoma. Most of them are also cataract surgeons and glaucoma with cataract seems to be uh, a very uh, uh, seems to be a very good option which means that many of your combined surgeries uh, you can also do the same surgeon can do the cataract and the glaucoma but the gratification is in the fact that every new glaucoma case you detect is, a pot is, is that means you are preventing one potentially blind patient in the country. So that gives you really uh, a good gratification and the Indian society really needs more and more glaucoma specialists. And just to sum up, I will put the cons first and then I will go to the pros. 
The cons are that, again, as I have mentioned, there is no instant gratification, there is no instant money, and many cases are probably handled at the primary level because uh, we all of us know that many uh, patients are treated in the periphery uh, by general ophthalmologists. Uh, in the moment you see an intraocular pressure of 20 or 21, instantly the the you know probably some of it is due to pressure from the pharma companies. Instantly they are started on glaucoma medications. So. Many cases may not even come to you for referral and out of them many may not even have glaucoma. The pros of course is that India really needs uh, more and more glaucoma specialists. The community needs them. It is uh, your your endeavor is going to be uh, part of uh, you know the, the prevention of irreversible blindness and as of now at least uh, people with long term glaucoma fellowships uh, are not too many uh, and definitely the the uh, supply is less than the demand thank you